Leon, first of all, how does it feel to be here? There was a lot of heat at that press conference in London. Has everything settled down now that uh, you and Darren are standing so close together? Is it all good today? Yeah, it's all good today. Um, I'm focused 100% on Gunnar Nelson. The press conference is a bit of banter. Um, Gunnar wasn't there, so I thought, let's go back and forth with him. And, but now I'm 100% focused on the task at hand. And, I got a very tough fight ahead of me and good announcing, you know what I mean? So I'm looking forward to Saturday night. I gotta ask you how it feels because from that press conference, we all thought it was pretty much set in stone that he, the winner of Leon and Gunnar would fight the winner of Till and Masvidal. That was what was floated at that press conference. Now Ben Askren has showed up. Um, what do you think of his involvement and do you feel he has a right to take on one of those guys, the winner of Saturday night's main event? Not really. I don't understand why he's there. Um, he got like a, a weird, dodgy win over Robbie Lawler over there. And, now he's flying over here with his curly hair to come talk shit. So I don't, I don't, I don't understand what's, what's happening. Um, I feel the winner of the main event is 100% should be my fight in the summertime. And after being going to Nelson, I will push for that fight. And I, I think it should rematch Robert Lola first before you even consider fighting anyone else. So that's my. Do you realise how important now it is to sort of put yourself in that shot window? Um, obviously, you know, you got engaged with Darren. You've been a bit more vocal, I think, in the last couple of fights. Yeah, um, I don't feel winning, winning is enough no more in the USA as back in the day you could win a fight and then you get to you want to get to. You know what I mean? There's not many men in the World Trade division that's on a six fight win streak and to be on a six fight win streak and to I'm still fighting Gunnar Nelson, he's a big name but I feel I deserve some higher ranked and but I'll go out there and I'll prove my case again once more and I would love to get my rematch against Usman. Um, the now champion, he was the last person to beat me. And now, now, now as a champion, it'd be good to get that rematch end of the year. Does it? Does the Darren Till fight make the most sense, even if Jorge wins? It's England versus England. Do you think it just sort of? Really. Not, no, not if he loses. No, I mean, I think if he loses, I'm not interested one bit. Um, so, if he wins, then yeah. If not, then. No. So the England versus England thing doesn't really sort of excite you, because he was talking shit about Birmingham, he's from Liverpool, a place that's easy to talk shit about. So I was oh, wondering man, if that Liverpool thing. Liverpool the biggest shit there is, but it is what it is. Um, not really. If he loses, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not interested one bit. You know what I mean? Um, I just want the winner of the main event. That that will put me towards the title shot. So whoever it is, if it is, if it's him or Masvidal, then. Are you happy with the UFC then? The way they've promoted you. You just said there you want a higher ranked opponent. You beat Donald Cowboy Cerrone. Were you expecting a main event after that? Uh, it was in talks that I was meant to be the main event for this fight, and well, they're doing their thing, and I'm just focusing on me and just keep keep winning these fights, keep beating these guys, and I don't think they can den deny me for, for much longer after being good enough. Do you think they are denying you? I feel so. I feel, uh, I like. Like I said, wouldn't it enough? You have to talk, you have to talk shit, and you have to go on social media, and think that's what it is now. You can win as much fight as you want; they won't push you. You know what I mean? So I think I'm proving that case as well. So I feel like I need to talk more shit and go on social media, probably. I don't know. I've got to ask you about a clip I saw just in the lead-up. I think it was from the UFC's uh, social page. They, they, there was a clip of you talking about, you know, how MMA had kind of um, prevented you from going down the kind of road of, of gang lifestyle. Like, is that a bit, was that a big reality for you in your teenage years? And do you feel like the sport is taking you away from that? Yeah, hundred percent. Growing up in like where I grew up in, in Birmingham. Um, it was a massive gang culture. It was like two gangs, like one called Burger Bar, one called Johnson's. Those are like the biggest gangs in Birmingham um, back then when I was growing up. And it, it was easy for me to, all my friends was in the gang. Um, I was hanging around, I was getting into trouble. And I got a little brother as well, Fabian, it also fights. He was following my footsteps and he was getting into trouble as well. And the, so one day my mom brought me up to the gym in Erlington, so I built, built in a gym in my area. and. Um, if she brought me there just to keep me from hanging around with my friends, basically. But, um, <laughs> so I went to the gym, um, and I just, I just stuck to it. I stuck to it. My brother followed me, and then now, now here we are. We're both doing something positive, and it's, it's good to see, and it feels good. Like, I mean, do, do you see the traps of what what could have been when you see that group of friends? Maybe some of these guys that were involved in the gang. Like, is it? Are you thankful for what's yeah, happened with your life? Very, very, very thankful. And um, most of them now, some, some, are, some of them grown up with my best friends, and. Because I've chosen this life, I couldn't hang around so much, so I kind of grew apart. But some of them in prison, some of them stabbings and stuff like that. You know what I mean? So it's, it is what it is. And we're now here, and I'm living positive. And I'm doing very well for my family and myself, and it's good to see. You mentioned the guys, um, your brother, obviously phenomenal talent. If you know Tom Breeze, the guys that are coming out of that area, Birmingham. It's really exciting times. I feel for 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 that region and those guys that are coming up together. 
Yeah, definitely. I feel, I feel, I think in the UK, everyone got like, like the, the little time. I think back in the day, it was like Nottingham, it was just like Dan Hardy and um, the, all them lot, and then Rough House, like that's Rough House, it. and then London at the time, with London Shoot and people like that. And now I think it's our time now. Um, like I said, I got good, good fights from there, Tom Breeze, my brother, Yannick, there's loads of people that to get good working and it's good it's good area to be in there. Speaking of uh, Tom some lessons in talking trash because uh, he doesn't <laughs> seem to like to do an awful lot of that. Was it here today? No, no, no of course no. not. <laughs> Tom just Tom just does does, does his feeling. He, he, Fifty uh, cheese for breeze, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> we we'll, we'll laugh about it all the time in the gym. He just does his own thing, like literally just in his own world. But it's funny. He's, he's, he's such a good fighter as well. Speaking but, of fighters from Birmingham, what about the guy who attacked Jack Grealish on the pitch? Are you a Birmingham City fan? Please don't leave me in the air now. I don't really watch football, but, oh, but, 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 but it was funny. It, it was weird because I, I don't know what he planned to get out of running. He didn't even land the punch clean. It's like a weird <laughs> punch. And now I think like 14 weeks in prison or something stupid. So then everyone posted the dressing online and uh, it was weird. <laughs> Back to the main event. Um, it's a great fight, a great matchup as well. Who have you got? Who are you favouring in that in that fight? Uh, I probably favour Darren Till over it, um, being the bigger man. And, but if I had to put money on it, I'd probably go edge Darren Till in the in the win. But Marcelo is good. It was, depends how it comes out and fight. If he uses his techniques, I think he beats him. He beats Darren Till. If he's, he's wrestling and he's striking. Also, the fight that just happened for the title, Osman against Woodley. Were you surprised that Osman came in the way he did, or was that sort of an expectation, seeing as though you've been in front of him before? I thought no. I picked Woodley to win the fight. To be fair. Um, I thought Wood was going to get the finish, but for some reason it just didn't show up at all. It looked like, like it just didn't want to be there. Um, but to see it was going to win the fight, win the title was good for me because it shows me that I can, I got like one, one or two more fights and I can fight, get a rematch against Usman. So to go out there and get that win back and get my revenge and to win the title, that's like two, two fucking the most best thing for me, you know what I mean? So. I remember before you fought Peter Sabata, there was all this talk of how, how was Leon going to get on on the ground against this guy? And again, that's coming up with Gunnar, like, do you think a win here will finally put that to bed, that, uh, you know, about your ground game, the questions? I hope so, I hope so. I think they're, they're all judging it from the, probably the Usman, probably. But I hope so. I'm like, I feel I've improved so much on my ground and my wrestling. I think I've improved way more on my in my grappling and my striking, because I'm focused so much on it, you know what I mean? So, it'd be good. But what if I go out there and sub him out, you know what I mean? Just that, just that good that would be, you know what I mean? So, I'm looking forward to going out there. that out? Nah, I ain't really like, I'd love to, like I said, I've seen his last fight, when he fought um, the Brazilian, Brazilian Cowboy kid. Um, he was losing when the guy took him down. He weren't, he weren't doing much off his back. It was only when he, when he got on top, um, and he landed his elbow, and the guy panicked and didn't get his back up, because he saw the blood. You know what I mean? Um, but like I said, when he's when, he, when he's on top, when you're on top of him, he's not as good than when he when you're all the other way around. You know what I mean? So uh, we will see how the fight pans out. Well, you want to keep this standing, right? Nah, uh, no. I want, I want to mix it up. I want to mix it up. I want to let him see just how good I am. You know what I mean? Um, I want to go out and just dominate wherever the fight goes, on the ground or standing, so. I just want to go back to that. Do you feel as though, you said you want to show and prove to him, do you feel as though, is there a chip on your shoulder with, you know, guys you're fighting and obviously a little bit with the UFC as well? Do you, do you feel as though you always have something to prove to everyone? Um, I think just more for myself, just answering questions and it helps the next fight. So if, if I go out there now and I saw good announcing that, that will answer so much questions to like every, <laughs> all my other opponents yeah. and what, what they will do now to beat him, you know what I mean? So that's all it is, it's more for myself really. Brilliant. Thanks a million, Leon.